pirates? Let's play pirates. How might I help you out of a bit of money, squab? Care to join our fun? Or is it swilling information you're chasing? I ain't my captain's keeper. And I know better than to ask what business you've got with Brutal Ben. You might check the court for him. If he ain't target practicing, he's tickling the harpsichord or taking his swill. Two out of the three can be done there. But if you see him, don't fucking tell him I sent you. It was their first hanging. Had the rope too long, so we cut the tosser's head right off. Huh. Ain't even possible, that. It is. I'm telling you, I saw it. You shopping for barkers or blades? Right away. Ahoy, Captain. I've got to come clean about something, and now will be as good a time as not. Much as I hate Benwith, the main reason I signed up with you were uh, to get here. To get a chance to look for a man named Romaro. Now, that'd be a longer story than we've got time for. Quick of it be that uh, Romaro's in trouble. The Prince should be have sent a ship hunter after him. And I've got a need and a half to find him first. I didn't see his ship, so probably not. But mayhaps we could keep a weather eye open for clues to his whereabouts. Apologies, Captain, for not being more forthcoming. Romaro be like family to me, and I didn't know you from a bilge pump. Actually, I've known a bilge pump or two. Thanks, Captain. I appreciate it, truly. Think this'll break me? Ha! <laughs> it won't spit on me, and I'll make you regret it. One day, surely. Those hagfish. Ben West's crew lashed me up to be, and I quote, a deterrent to insubordination. It's shark shit. All I did was filch one of their horns and blast it to start lung with. I wanted to see her get all worked up. Well, sure. But shouldn't you know this, on account of you being a captain? That he does, the master rogue. You should have come to us sooner. We're accepting of even old bloods if they're wanting to run fresh. Not that I ain't grateful, but if Ben's crew spots me about, they'll be taking more than my pride next. Like I could go anywhere.
Be north of here. The brig be to the south. On it. Huh? Right. I've got it. I don't be supposing we could uh, blow it up. Swapped in sparkling, Captain. Sure. If it's locked tight, it must lead deeper into the fort. Holds it right there, lovesome. If you ain't wanna bend my stone, you can't be back here. Aye, and it shouldn't surprise you. Aldi set sail two nights ago. Means Benweth's running the dead light tip top in her stead. What he says goes, and what he likes, he gets to do. Including the right to lock down parts of the fortress. If you're thinking to get mutinous, don't. You know they call him Brutal Ben for a reason. He ain't shy about tossing mutineers into the stocks for the crows to pick off their skin. Then you also know I'll be showing you out. This way. Follow me and keep those ends where I can see them. Forge ain't far from here, right up them stairs. Got a particular smell it does. Come, we've plenty to share. I've got it. Watch your step. The stones are a mite slippery. Here's to ourselves. May the gods grant us more gold and luck than we can imagine. You bet. Our bosun just brought a treasure map. We're saluting to our future prosperity, we are. We'll be making a proper raucous if hung with the crag it wasn't such an accursed downer. She loathes any type of disorder, especially that of the loud variety. We get too wild and you watch, she'll be stomping down here to yell at us. Winds will be changing soon enough. Benwith can't resist throwing another bash for long. Will do. Before I go introducing you to Siri, I should, uh, mention something. I might have said things to Siri when I last dropped anchor at Dead Light. Just lovers words savvy. But I can't say I rightly lived up to him. I ain't saying there's a problem, just a possible wrinkle in the old charts.
You ain't sailing with bare poles, Cap. <laughs> All I'm saying is, uh, you see a go for a pistol, you best step away from me. I've got it. Damn me, the cops run dry. Welcome one and welcome all. Buy me a bottle and I'll be your finest loving pal. <laughs> what says you, lad? Aye, you're likely to find him here from time to time. But at the moment, he's staying up top at Eldie's private quarters. Well, they're real nice. Oh, you meant because the captain's second in command at Eldie's. When she's off plundering, it's him who runs a deadlight. Ben's locked down the inner halls in the upper ramparts. No one but his own crew's allowed within. He's temping the fort down because he doesn't want to get in trouble with Aldi's again. Last time, we might have got too rowdy. <laughs> but executing all those political prisoners sure was fun. <laughs> then why would you want to be doing that? That's what they all say. Thank you all the first to want to slide a knife between Ben's ribs. It ain't no skin off my nose if you want to die. Ben loves him some good festivities. Blood or booze doesn't matter so long as it's flowing freely. <laughs> That's why Aldi's is always having to rein him in. Long as it don't get too out of hand, the captain will probably join us rather than shutting things down. I know how to get us started, but you'll be doing the legwork. Seeing as I don't fancy a punishment should the captain get mad. He's brutal when he's sober, and he's bloody mad when he drinks. So he's keeping to himself, I'd guess. Eldie's ain't a pushover, but she don't like Benny's increasing aggressiveness. If he gets out of hand again, she might hang him by his squishy bits from the bowsprit of his own ship. The more booze, the rowdy we principally get. The better the booze. Well, that's when the real fun starts. I happen to know. Deadlights recently received a shipment of excellent God Killer's rum. It's reserved for Aldi's private stock. Snatch us a barrel, will ya? They're outside on the eastern rampart at the base of the crane. Careful, though. The steers will be guarded by Ben West's own crew, and they're in a sour mood. Most direct route to the rampart is up the stairs by the eastern towers. Arncret's on post there. She's a bit of a gambler, likes a good bet, but loses more than she ought. Oh, yeah, Snake Eye's got her for quite a lot of coin. Seems he's good at rigging, and I don't mean sales. <laughs> He'll save her and guzzle it with the rest of us. Then later find someone to blame. I'm listening. You're welcome to enjoy the court's offerings, and that's all. Eat. Gamble, fall on your face drunk, but don't go snooping for trouble. Why in the blackest hell are you clomping around so loud? Albeit, you're not allowed up here. 
You no good fuddlers. Just got no patience for them, the bilge lickers. It's rot enough I'm posted next to the forge, having to listen to that hammer striking non-stop all day long. Add on those howling guzzlers at the bottom of the stairs and you get the picture. Enough gabbling. The ramparts are off limits to anyone but Ben West's crew. Run off or I'll run you through. No, I'd best escort you back. Follow me if you want to keep living. Try to sneak past if you want to die. Oh, at least they asked us nicely this time. <laughs> 